Are we ready? Yes. Please state your name. My name is Rachel Marie Moreno. What is your occupation? I am a criminal behavioral analyst and field agent. Can you state for the camera how long you've been with the agency? Seven years. And for the camera, your education? Uh, Yale, criminal psychology. You were successful in many investigations? As successful as you can be in this field, yes. Gavin Demi, he was the other founder of the project. What was his field of study? Um, psychopharmacology. He was the lead researcher on a joint venture with the DEA where they studied the side effects of various psychotropic and hallucinogenic uh, drugs that were found in the streets. He helped develop the drug used during the proposed trials? Yes. What was the nature of his death? Why is that relevant? What can I do for you, man? Give me the fucking money! Okay. Put the money in the fucking bag, man! What are you looking at me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Put the gun down. Put the fuck up, man! I'm not moving. I'm not moving. What do you need? Where the fuck up with my money, man? What the fuck is taking you so long? Put the money in the hey, fucking bag. Hey, hey, it's all right. It's all right. Hey, hey, look at me. He's getting the money. And you can walk out of here, all right? Hey, take it. Stay with him. Just breathe. Given both of your positions as government agents, given the nature of this project, did you ever believe it was related? I'd like to move on, please, to more relevant topics. You understand that in doing this, you will waive certain rights given the level of secrecy something like this needs to be kept at? Yeah, I do. You understand that in doing this, you will be in direct violation of human rights laws among other unethical and illegal activities. I do. Equally, we support this project. The potential financial implications as well as the human lives that will benefit from this, we believe outweighs the moral and ethical dilemmas it brings up. You understand that? I do, thank you, sir. Thank you. Camera off for this section, please. Credentials? Oh, yeah. You can leave your bag with me. You'll be waiting in your room. Hi. Rachel Moreno, how are you? Aaron, good to see you. <sighs> Professionals always, huh? Let's uh, show you around. So, uh, the bunks are down this way, and the holding cells are down this way. Um, 
Oh, have you had a chance to meet uh, Jason? Uh, the statue outside? Yeah, he's... Yeah. Well, I actually don't really know who he is. Uh, he just kind of showed up with his team yesterday. I think, uh, you know, that they hired him. <laughs> Have they come by yet? Are they supposed to come by? Or? I imagine they will be. Is everything ready? Yeah, yeah. Um, the holding cells for the inmates are just the only Test subjects. I really need you to refer to them as test subjects. Yeah, test subjects. Look, this is beyond... Well, it's a huge deal. I know that because I worked under Gavin for years. I... Look, I know the depth of your relationship with him, Rachel. I do. But it's been a year. I just need you to know what a big deal this truly is. It's odd to me that you would think that I don't. Show me the control room. So, this is great. I worked really hard on this. Um, this is the monitoring station. From here, we can observe the test subjects, keep track of their vitals, anything that's basically going on with them. Okay, great. Yeah. Um, oh, uh, the report log. So, it's basically a daily log, right? You sign in, you send a message, it goes directly to them. Anything, alerts, concerns, anything that has to do with the test subjects. <laughs> you know, your blog. <laughs> Moving right along. Uh, so they did say they want you to leave a brief message for them, which I can help you with. They did say they want you to do it on your own, though, so. Well, they've probably had enough of you by now. <laughs> a joke, I like it. Don't get used to it. Never. Enjoy. Um, hi, my name is Rachel Moreno. It is, uh, 2.01 p.m. Central Standard. Uh, the date is April 2nd, and we are at an undisclosed location. This is the first trial run of the project, comprised of several elements. In our holding area for the test subjects, we have the basics for human survival. There will be meal drops once daily and will consist of the essential food groups needed to sustain the subjects. There are no surprises. It will be the same meal every day for the duration of the trials. The test itself will extend over a two-month period. The main part, the most important part of all of this, is, is the drug, the code name VEX, an untested trial run. This pill was manufactured by Gavin Demi. After years of development, he and I, uh, we created the VEX 555 for the use in these trials. The drug itself is a psychotropic, psychoactive drug that, within our theoretical research, will be used to show us a person's most extreme emotion. What we hope to prove is that if, if we can isolate a person's tendency towards certain emotional triggers, their most common emotion, we can filter out the emotion response that causes people to act violently. This pill, theoretically, will will separate their emotions into categories of joy, sadness, anger, etc. Each subject chosen for this project is a variable. Their individual violent nature and crimes are varied for trial purposes. All lifers with different backgrounds and circumstances uh, and each have a story, they each have a crime. And they all have an emotional response, the violent response that caused their crimes. In the future, we can find these warning signs early on and stop these terrible things from happening before, before they happen. Uh, that's the goal of these trials, in theory. We have a hand-picked team by me who will be assisting with the trials. Okay. Hey, how you doing? Uh, my name is uh, Dr. Aaron Graber. Um, Recent, uh, gra well, no, that's not true. <clears throat> Let's try this again, right? What do they say in the movies? Take two, something like that. <laughs> uh, my name is uh, Dr. Aaron Graber. Uh, I'm a graduate of Berkeley. Uh, 
I started at the Bureau a few years ago where I met Miss Moreno, Rachel. Well, that's what I call her. <laughs> that's what everybody calls her, but you know what I mean. She's great. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm the lead uh, pharmaceutical tech. I administer the VEX 555, maintain any protocols that need to be maintained, monitor the test subjects, you know, lead tech basically. Um, real excited to be a part of this project, real excited. Uh, hell of a cook too, man. I can just, uh, you know, stir fry, whatever, man. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just real happy to be here. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, we'll, we'll be in touch. Thank you. I'm Dr. Beverly Gale. I'm the lead physician on the project. I'll be monitoring the vitals and general health of the test subjects. I'm really excited. This is a very big opportunity for me. And, of course, the rest of the world. Yeah, a very big opportunity. Maggie Richards, Junior Behavioral Analyst for the Bureau. I graduated from Yale as well, and I am just very honored to be working under Ms. Moreno. Someone with her passion, it's inspiring. I hope to be like that one day, like her. I will be handling the day-to-day -day operations of the trial and assisting Ms. Moreno on anything she or the trial may need. Thank you. In addition to the pill, uh, the test subjects will undergo eight hours a day in complete darkness. And it's, it's our hope that this will allow them to be alone with their thoughts and allow the VEX to truly organize their emotions properly. Um, what else is there? Uh, that, that's it. That's it for our first broadcast. It's time to begin. No more talking. Ms. Moreno? Uh, Rachel, sorry to bug you. They, 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 the test subjects are here. Any sudden movements and you will be shot. On your feet, out of the van. These are the subjects. Each has been assigned a letter for chart and observational purposes. You can refer to them by name, though letter is preferred given the circumstances. I agree. Let's really try to keep it to letter references only, guys. Here we go. Subject G, Brad Lancaster. Three life sentences, convicted child murderer and rapist. He was known as the carnival killer, responsible for the rape and deaths of four children under six a few years back. Subject I. Christian Allen Keyes, life. Tied up a man to a fence and burned him alive. In spite of the overwhelming evidence, Christian has maintained his innocence. He even pleaded innocent, despite his lawyers advising him to plead guilty for a possible reduced sentence. Subject A, Evan Wright, life. He murdered a man he found having an affair with his then wife. He beat him to death with a shovel in the front yard. The community was completely shocked due to his involvement with the church and town council. He claims to have blacked out. Has no recollection of it. Believes he was uh, possessed by Satan, apparently. Subject C, Alyssa Lee, 22, life. For the murder of her baby brothers. She drowned them in the downstairs bathtub. She was 19 at the time. She never even apologized. Showed no remorse, even now. Subject E, Nikolai, that's it. No last name, two life sentences. Ukrainian descent, speaks no English. His first appearance, as far as the world is concerned, was six years ago when he turned up in a neighborhood in Boise and murdered an entire family, only to make his way to the next row of houses and kill anyone home. No motive, nothing. He's a high but uh, necessary risk. So, he's going to be chained up for the duration of the experiments. And here's the odd one out, Megan Salas. As you know, Megan volunteered to be our control for the trials, to see how it affects nonviolent individuals. She, very bravely, has created a criminal background story as to fit in and we'll be monitoring her closely while she's inside. 
Now that you know a little bit about their past, I'd like to concentrate on their future. There will be no contact with them. Outside of Aaron and the guards who will be administering Vex 555, nobody will be in contact with them unless absolutely necessary. And even then, we question it. Now you've all been asked to turn in your cell phones. There will be no contact with anyone outside of this building. There's a hard line that's been set up in case of emergencies outside of that. No contact. Do I make myself clear? Yes. Understood. Absolutely. Absolutely. So let's go ahead and get a few of those samples and a couple of the other. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I can do that. Absolutely. Wait a second. Wait a second. Rachel, she's throwing the signal. Hold on. She's just freaking out. Maybe we should get her out of there. No, just wait. No. No, wait. No, no. Please don't. Get her inside. No. No. Rachel. I said wait. Damn it, I'm pulling her. If you pull her, we're going to have to wait for another one. Jason, pull subject Kane now. Roger that. It's okay, Megan. It's okay. It's, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You don't have to do it. I'm so sorry, Rachel. I can't. It's... It's okay. They're sending somebody to pick her up. When do we get a replacement? We don't. They said to continue as scheduled, just the experiment as needed. Look, it can still work. We have procedures drawn up for this very scenario. I mean, nothing is perfect. This was supposed to be. Call me when you administer the Vex. Doing, huh? Right. Uh, uh, okay, so this is the medication. We'll just go ahead and uh, check. Great, great, great. Same, same drill. So. Last one. Uh, okay, so the doors behind me are going to be sealed duration of the trial. Uh, you do have facilities, toilet, um, toothbrushes, things like that. Anyway, you're being watched 24 hours a day, so let's just play nice. Let's get through this. Let's make it easy as possible. Uh, lights out at 10 p.m., lights up at 6 a.m., meals will be served just prior to that. So, uh, <laughs> you know, enjoy your stay. <laughs>
<laughs> anyway. Would you please follow me to your bunk? Um, I can walk there by myself. We're instructed to assist all staff to the rooms the first night. After that, we stay outside. I was told we'd have full security. We're here to assist with the delivery and securing of the subjects. We're here to make sure all staff is secure the first night. That's it. No interference unless dire circumstances arise. OK, then. Escort away. You don't want it? No. Some things I just don't touch. All right. You can come over here. Join us. No, thank you. What prisons you go to? Oh, manners. <laughs> no, thank you. All right, well, I'm gonna steal your bread. Mine looks funny. What did you do? I took his bread. No, I mean, to wind up here, why were you in prison? And do you really care about that? I'm interested in all of God's creations. Oh, boy. A religious man. Hold on to your pews there, Padre. You ever heard of the carnival killer? That was you? Yeah. He was. You're, you're a child molester. The label he gave me. What label would you give yourself then? Spoon. I'm gonna butter my bread with spoon. I guess I'd label myself human. 
like the rest of you. You like jazz? Um, <clears throat> no, not really. I do. I really do. Guess that's what makes us different. Now, as for I'm here, in this spot, same as you. See, I was not um, very popular in prison for reasons beyond my reasoning. So yeah, private prison facility and trade for whatever this is. Felt right. Felt good. Hey, hey. So, uh, what are they doing? Talking. How long have you been away? A few hours. Can you take notes? <laughs> on what? They're talking. There's no reaction yet. Then take notes on that. I'll be back. What'd you do? Fuck off. Fucked off? Came back? Seriously. What'd you do? She doesn't have to share it with us. By all means, friend. Share your origin. You're so worried about mine. I'm not interested in sharing mine either. Thank you. I think I don't know who you are, Torch. I know who you are. I killed my wife's lover. Did you? I did. And I'm not proud of it. Act of protection in my book. Definitely. So, I mean, he's fucking your wife. Don't refer to it as that. So he's um, plugging your wife. And you, uh, you come home, you find him. I had trouble with it. Okay. Whatever, guy. Mike's passed back to you. Fuck off and die, you piece of shit. A few days in, um, it's slow, as expected. No reactions or side effects yet. Uh, they aren't interacting much. Subject A and G being the most vocal. Morale amongst the staff is good. Um, I can tell they're anxious, maybe bored. Um, I've been busy, very busy. That's all for now. So, anything yet? Or? Nothing at all. Oh, this one. Never interacts with anybody. Ever. I'm just glad he's not tearing anyone apart. 
Well, that's what the fail safe's for, if we need the fail safe. But, you know, it's been fine so far. It's been great, actually. A little boring, but productive. So far. You know, you'd be proud. Can you get Maggie for me? You know what he did, right? No, I don't. Burned a man. Tied him to a fence and pulled. Burned him. Pretty ruthless shit, huh? Then, the boy barks if he didn't do it. <laughs> you believe that? I'm sure he has his reasons. Yeah, he probably didn't want to go to jail, motherfucker. Shit. I think we just need to keep quiet about his business, okay? Were you an altar boy? No, why? Pastor's son. No. You're Jesus Christ. What? What? Why are you asking? I am bored. I need to talk. I'm just a believer with a particular faith. Cool. Are you religious? No. Oh, well, that's uh, not a bad thing, necessarily. Spiritual? I had my palm read once. I thought the whole thing was fucking stupid. My uh, niece used to tell me about her horoscope stuff before I wasn't allowed to see her or be near her anymore. But no, fuck no. I'm not of the god type. Well. Again, that's fair. Even if I was, only one God now. Who's that? Always watching, keeping us in line. Everything looks good. Night, Rach. So they were whispering. It was like sleep talking. <laughs> yeah, I used to used to do that all the time while I was writing thesis papers, actually. No, they were all doing it. I mean, it was like a, like a side effect or maybe a stage. It wasn't paranoia. It was like, like a mix of emotions. Well, maybe things are starting to pick up, you know? Yourself. I'm not trying to make any friends. I hear you believe you're innocent. I am innocent. So you believe you don't belong in the trials? I didn't belong in prison. 
I never went there, I wouldn't be here. So, why participate? Please, leave me alone. Came in, flipped on the lights, and we were just like this. I mean, 20, 25 minutes. How are their vitals? Everything's fine. further along than the rest, huh? Two weeks in, and I think we have our first results. Um, the subjects seem to be going in and out of almost a walking coma. Basic motor functions and physiological needs are being met. All of their cognitive functions seem to be absent. If, if what I think is happening is actually happening, this may be the phase where emotions are being categorized, hopefully. Subject E is having an adverse reaction, uh, perhaps to the VEX 555. He's, he's shrieking, a very high-pitched wail. We believe he is hallucinating, or maybe he's at another level, as Dr. Graber pointed out to me. Despite the uncertainty, we are very, very excited at the prospects that something is happening. The rest of the subjects, uh, just emotionless. Have you guys looked at these charts? The sleep patterns are way up. Really? Yeah. Hmm. It happens twice to both of them? It's like the brain activity spikes twice over the course of the night and then goes dormant, except for subject E. But he's been having a much faster response to the VEX, and I don't know why yet, so... Uh, is this Dr. Graver? No, you're talking to the doctor. Yes, Aaron, what's going on? Wait, 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 slow down. What's going on? Uh, yeah, two knocks and my name. Yeah, 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 I'm coming. What? Aaron? Aaron, talk to me. Rachel, enough. What's going on? It's, it's nothing. Open up. Talk to me. Rachel, enough. Open the door now. Aaron. Aaron. What the 
hell was that? You can't just pull them like that. Not my place to explain. What exactly do you do? Please step back, Miss Marino. Hey, what's going on? What did he say to you? Hey! My mom was in some kind of accident or... I don't know, she's in the hospital. Rachel, I'm done, okay? I'm leaving. You can't leave. You know they won't let you leave. It's an emergency. You're lucky they let you talk to her. I didn't talk to her. Okay, I spoke to some agent who spoke to a local PD. She doesn't even know that I know. You can't. You can't leave. Not now. I'm sorry about your mother, but you cannot leave. Unpack your bags. Take all the time that you need. <laughs> but you cannot leave. Nothing good to report. Nothing good. Aaron. Hello? Aaron. I got it. Subject E is having a reaction much faster than the rest of them because his level of crime warrants it. I wrote it down. I got it. Do you agree? Yeah, I agree, Rachel. That's why I wrote it down. Week three. Uh, week three. The subjects are complaining of skin irritation, though nothing visible is seen. Um, it could be another hallucinogenic reaction, but either way, we're making progress. We're making great progress. Um, I believe these are stages instead of side effects. I do believe that this could be the mind truly separating and categorizing each emotion, each stage representing the separation of mind and body. You know, this, the scratching, the screaming, the almost catatonic stage, it's, it's doing its job, one step at a time. I suppose it's working. Sure. Are you okay? Is the itching bad? I'm fine. You don't look much worse. You're lucky. I just want you to know that I believe you when you say you're innocent. What? Uh, I was was curious if I was out walking down the street and you saw me. Would you think that I could be what I am? 
did what you did, you're here. So, that's all I know. End of month, and we've had fantastic results so far. We're still waiting on the reveal of what we're now calling the final emotion, which will represent the culmination of these trials. When we boil it down, as a side note, an interesting note about subject I, he seems to maintain an innocence. He's displaying less dramatic scopes of the stages so far, so I plan to keep special tabs on him. Hey. Hi, sorry to bother you. It's okay, what's going on? They're here. Who? They? Like they. They're here? Yeah, they're outside and Jason will take you out there. Okay. Thank you. Hello, Miss Moreno. Hello. How are you? Good. How's the project going? Are you not getting my reports? We are. We just wanted to check in personally. Alert you with some changes. Changes? Uh, okay, what changes exactly? We will be asking Jason and his team to now be allowed inside for security purposes. Why? They don't need to be. Everything is fine. Due to some of the reports you've been sending, our assessments have concluded that the subjects are becoming more volatile. And they are not volatile. They're not... This is just a stage, sir. No one's been hurt. We know that. But if you are to continue, Jason and his team will be there to monitor the project from the inside. It will not be a bother, just supervising any possible threat. They won't see any data. This isn't a request, Miss Moreno. It's what will happen. Understood? Yes. Looks like we have babysitters. Can we speak about Aaron? What about him? I don't know, doesn't he seem distant to you? Mm. No. I don't know why. Did he say something to you? No, I just... I had to redo his charts. And I know tattling isn't very professional, but I just wanted you to know. No, thank you for telling me. It's not tattling if it's going to benefit the project. I'm going to talk to him. Okay, thanks. And maybe I was thinking, if he wanted me to, I could take the reins on some of his work. And that way you and I can work closer together and he can have a smaller workload. Because there's probably a lot in his mind, I'm sure. We'll see. Have you seen Dr. Graber? Nope. He's supposed to be doing rounds. I don't see him. Are you being funny with me? No. Where were you before here? Before this job? I can't talk about that. Even if I wanted to, I wouldn't know. I told you. We are paid to guard. Hmm. You've never been curious about the places you've guarded? I'm not paid to be. Good. I like your dedication. And I hope that on your next job, you will be just as professional as you've been here.
put a lot into this. Variables are variables, and now you've become one of them. For what it's worth, and I mean this with respect, you should be back outside. We don't need you. Anything else, Miss Marino? No. Mr. Graber, what are you doing? Um, I, uh, I was, uh, exercising. I, 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 I do aerobics. The hall should be kept clear if you're not on active hours. Right, I understand that. I just was gonna... Please return to your bunk, Mr. Graber. <laughs> okay. you doing aerobics. And why would he tell you that? He has to report it to me. It's my project. Yeah, that's fantastic. That's, that's great. They seem to be in a permanent state of delirium. No spatial awareness, no clear motivation for their actions. Wouldn't you agree? Week six, subjects are catatonic, basic needs, this room feels smaller, tighter every day. Results are still positive, uh, effects are being displayed, so that's good, that's good. I believe they'll remain in this condition until the final emotion is ready to present itself. But for now, it's just basic needs.
Hey, you should come in. No, I shouldn't. I'm not really asking. Okay, I'm clocking out. Uh, keep an eye on subject E. He's had a lot of movement today. Yep. And take notes, please. I'm aware.
think he's bleeding. What is he doing? Well, he's got a slightly elevated heart rate, but it's nothing alarming. No, no, we, we, we gotta go in there and check on him. No, we don't go in there unless dire circumstances warrant it. Beverly, the guy is puking blood. We don't go in there until it's necessary. Yeah, well, it's not your call, okay? Get out of the way. I'm going in there. Open it. Why? You know I've got authorization. We need to get in there. Move! Let's go! Open it up! So I want to apologize. I was just trying to protect Dr. Graber. No, not about that. I acted inappropriately the other night. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm glad we understand. So I've got some new protocols. Uh, Nobody goes in there without me, okay? No other level of clearance is allowed. Are we clear? Very. Good. We are approaching week eight. Do or die. 
I'm working extended hours in Dr. Graber's absence. Though his actions were beyond protocol, I needed his help. The subjects are not responding at all at this point, barely even eating. If they continue this, we will have to cease all trials. They need to display even a little bit that they are still there. I need something soon. She's reconciled. She's showing the emotions that pushed her to murder her baby sister. Envy, jealousy. This is it. This is it. This is good. This is good. No, she's fine. We have our first breakthrough. So, I'm requesting another week, an extension through this video. We have had our first subject response that we're looking for. Subject C is showing very promising results. Cheers. Cheers. Congratulations to us. Mm-hmm. Mm. Feels good. Feels amazing. Feels yeah. great to be getting out of here, to be <laughs> honest. <Yeah. laughs> it's too bad Aaron couldn't be here, huh? I know. I really mm -hmm. hope he gets better soon, because... That was a little crazy. We should take a trip to the hospital. We should. Right? Yeah. When are we leaving here? What, day after tomorrow? I think so. When yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, let's go. Oh, let's go. 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 let us go let us go Cool, sweetie. Sounds good. What's happening? No! 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 We need to pull the failsafe. No, don't. Just wait a minute. Rachel. If you touch that, you will no longer have a future with me in any capacity. Do you hear me? Rachel, you need to stop this! They need to pay for what they've done!
Yes, there's been an incident and we need to abort. They're gone. Okay, they're on their way. We just need to stay put. I don't know if that's a good idea. I think... <laughs> Please roll the cameras. We are here approximately 12 days after the incident that occurred during Bex's 555's trial run. Is there anything you would like to add? We have very high hopes for this, Miss Moreno. Very high hopes. You understand what happens now. Shortly before the incident occurred, you believed you were onto something. Do you still feel that way? 